Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be cooking a favourite of my family that has gone back through many years and it's probably a favourite of lots of other families especially on this time of year and it is ginger cake and I'm talking about the real dark sticky ginger cake. Um, I used to love it as a child with the Jamaican one and this is very similar. It's dark, it's rich, it's only flavoured with a little bit of orange zest and obviously the ginger. Um, what I will say that it is better after a few days in the cupboard. You have to hide it away from your family. Put it in the cupboard, let it rest. Then it is it brings on this gorgeous sticky top. So that's what you have to do. Keep them away from it. Right, in this pan we have 75 grams of black treacle, 75 grams of golden syrup, we have 80 grams of vegan butter and we have 75 grams of dark brown sugar. Don't be tempted to put the light brown sugar in for this. This is a real rich cake. So no cuts. Right, we want to heat that up gently. We do not want this to boil, okay? And uh, we will talk through the other ingredients as we get onto them. Now, over the years, I have veganized it. I have made it gluten free. And to be honest, whatever I've shoved at this recipe, it has worked. So that is good. While that is melting, I will tell you what I've got in my bowl. And in my bowl here, we have 175 grams of plain flour. I have got a gluten-free plain flour. It's my own plain flour mix. I have half a teaspoon of bicarb of soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I have a majority, sorry, variety of mixes, spices. You could use nutmeg and cinnamon. Obviously, of course, you're going to use ginger. Um, I use one and a half teaspoons of ginger because it's a ginger cake, so it's got a taste of ginger. And I also had add half a teaspoon of nutmeg and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, another thing that we add is to replace our eggs. You're not going to see this very well in here and it looks a little bit ugh. Right, we have two tablespoons of ground flaxseed and added to that are six tablespoons of warm milk. Not hot milk, not cold milk, just lukewarm. And the only other liquid we've got is 125 mils of the uh, oat milk. And that's all your liquids. And they all get added together in sequence. And, uh, you know, there's no mixing machines, there's no whisk, there's nothing like that that's needed for this recipe. It takes between 45 and 50 minutes to cook. So what I will do, I'll put a bit in the oven for you and I'll be back once I take it out and you can see what it looks like. Like I said, the hard part is resisting it. I can do it. I think it's the lads of the house, the men of the house. And it's like, you just made a cake. I can smell it. Where is it? So you have to be a bit, a bit canny with this one. My kids love it with custard as well. Ginger cake and custard. Mind you, I'm of the opinion that things take taste a lot better with custard. I love custard. It's just nearly done now. You want to wait till the grittiness has disappeared from the pan. 
you'll know because you'll you'll know when you feel it that's when all the sugar is dissolved and you're left with this gooey sort of unctuous gorgeous mixture wouldn't taste very nice like that black treacle does wonderful things for cakes and in bacon but you wouldn't want it on toast right when i'm waiting for that to just about finish what i will do is i will put the zest of an orange this is where having a fries in your hands is not good. Orange and ginger, match made in heaven. They sort of bring out the flavour of each other, to be honest. They really are good together. You can, if you also want, add stem ginger to the um, to the recipe, or you could add just the uh, the sugar ginger. You can chop that up and add through. I tend to wait and leave that and add it on top. I put a drizzle of um, sort of icing on top, but water icing, and uh, I add it to that. Right, I'm just going to let that start to bubble. Just little bubbles on the surface and we are done. It is absolutely horrific today. I seem to have missed that wonderful weather in August. You have those crisp mornings and the leaves have changed a lovely colour and you want to get out and uh, for me that's in a wheelchair but you want to get out you want to take the dog somewhere, but we just have rain, 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 and more rain. Right, there we go. Let me turn that one off. It's not boiled. Yeah, if you boil it, what you will do as the sugars will start to set and they will crystallize. And once they have done that, it's no good. They are no good at all. So I'm going to pop that into that bowl, scrape it all out. Don't want to waste anything. Okay, that's that one done. Oh no, there's a cat come down. Right, and now we mix, start to mix this in, and then we add our spoon that's just the flaxseed and we add the milk and that is it and just mix that all around this is our, it makes a two pound loaf Normally, to be honest, I double it because what I do then is I make two of them. I always say one for the freezer, one for the house. Don't over mix it. Just make sure it's well combined and all the flour is mixed in and also all the flax seeds are mixed in. It smells absolutely gorgeous. where I need two people okay. no. please don't go everywhere on me I pour it in gently because some sides the sides of it collapse and that's not good at all
get all that yumminess out. And there we go. And there we have it. Just going to pop you up a bit so I can see you, you can see me, so to speak. Right, what I will do is I will pop that in the oven. Um, when it's out, I will come back on and show you what it looks like. Hi everyone, I am back. And the ginger cake is out of the oven and it smells so good. Oh, right. There it is. Like I said, see that top layer? You give that a couple of days and it will become so, like, it will have like a sticky coating on top and it's absolutely delicious. So, resist all temptation. Hide it from the men. Keep it out the way. And there is your cake. Um, if you like my videos on my channel, please give me a big old like and subscribe to my channel also send me your comments tell me what you think tell me what you'd like me to cook i'll have a go at most anything but give me some give me a little bit of feedback okay thank you very much have a good evening everyone and now i'm off to put my feet up thank you bye